everybody, it's Lisa at the Silhouette Cameo Beginners Newbies Hangout page. Um, I was asked today how to do silhouettes um, out of pictures. So say you have a picture of your kid or some people do their dogs or whatever. And all you want to do is have just the black head, basically. So like a black and silhouette is what you want. Um, I'm going to show you real quick how you do it. This picture, um, somebody sent to me in black and white. You can do it in color as well. If you have a colored picture, it works fine too. So um, the best way to do it is when you take a picture of someone, um, your kid or whoever, um, try and have a background that has nothing on it. So whether it's just a white background, like use like your wall that's light in color or something like that, um, it makes it easier to do. This has a black background, so we have to do a couple more steps. If it has a white background to it, it might be a little easier to do, but this one is with a black one. Either one will work. You can have a dark background or you can have a light background. You have to have design edition the way I do it. Um, you have to have a design edition to do it. So the first thing I do is I select my picture right here. And what I did was I brought this in from a message that someone had sent me. If you have design edition, you can actually copy and paste pictures in. If not, you're going to need to go to the picture, save it to your desktop, and then go over here to file and open to bring it in. Okay, so basically I copied and pasted. You can only do that with design edition. A lot of people are on the fence about design edition. To make your life easier, just get it. Trust me. Um, okay, first thing I'm going to do is click on my picture. I'm going to come up here to the shader effects window. If you don't know what a button means, hover over it. It tells you what it means. It makes you look really smart. So it makes me look smart because I can tell you what it is. Click on that. Then I want to come down here and I want to invert this picture. Because I have a black background, I want to take that out because the Silhouette software doesn't typically trace white. Okay? Just follow me. So I've got that inverted. I have mine all the way up to 100% inversion. You can change it. See the difference? This is my original picture. This is with it flipped. So it kind of makes it almost look like an x-ray. Um, then you're going to come up to your trace icon. To me, it looks like a piece of toast with um, jelly on it, but some people think it looks like a butterfly. So click on that. Select your trace area. Simply trace the head that you're wanting and how much space. I try not to get the edges because then that's something else I have to take out. So I'm going to make that part. I'm going to drag that in just a hair if it'll let me. I'm not using my mouse. Okay. So you see how we have this yellow line here? You're going to uncheck the high pass filter. Don't freak out. This is when these, this area, this threshold slider comes into play. The higher the threshold, the more yellow we're going to get or the more filled in. So I'm going to make this bigger. See how it filled it all the way in? Then I'm going to hit trace outer edge because I only want to trace this outline. If I don't do that, then it will not trace correctly and I won't have the silhouette that I want. Trace outer edge. Take this. I'm going to change to my color bucket and make it black. See how that works? And now I have my outline. Now I'm going to show you that we have some straggly stuff here. Left click to select your design. Right click, release the compound path. See how it highlights these things? Then you can just go in and get rid of this stuff. All this extra stuff you don't need. Okay. Or you can be like me and you actually delete the design. Undo is the best invention in the world. So we're going to just do a little tiny bit of the cleanup here, like so. Whoops, maybe if that lets me select just that little. I'm not using my mouse, so it's acting like a goofball here. Okay, I'm going to zoom back out. I can actually move that out of the way to get the rest of the crap I don't want. Now, if you think your head looks funny, but you can see the baby right here has a little point on it, zoom in, double click, don't freak out, and you can... See how my dots lit up or the edit the points? Simply go in and just delete some of them. I will zoom in a lot because I want to get rid of that little hump, the little humpty hump, right? If it's too flat of an area here, simply here make it curve. If the editing the points is too much, do not get into it. Don't freak yourself out. Just do the basic stuff. 
making it a silhouette. So now I'm going to unclick and I'm going to zoom out a whole lot and see how the little point is gone now. But that's basically how you make a silhouette. I know these are popular with a lot of people with their kids. They're really cool, actually. You could actually go in and like put their name here at the bottom or maybe the month. So if you want to do like a series of them, you know, six, seven, eight, nine months, up to 12 months or something like that, you could do something like that. Just put six months in there. Okay, so that's the basics of how you do a silhouette. If you have any questions, you can give me a yell. Um, I am on the page. I do work full time, unfortunately, so I try and get on there as answer as much as I can. If you don't get a response from someone, you can always tag me or message me. I don't have a problem with that. Um, I also have another, we have, this will be on YouTube, but I have another YouTube um, channel called Vintage Gypsy where I do all my paint series because I sell the heirloom tradition paint. So knock yourself out, go in there and take a look. <coughs> Excuse me, if you have any questions, you give me a yell. You guys have an awesome day.